I got a letter in the mail, and uh, I'm not real sure why I got it, but it was from a company called Purus, and they were, the letter basically explained that they have a crop they're wanting to grow, and it was yellow peas. Um, kind of reading the letter, you could do the, you could, you could farm this crop and use your normal combine. Well, we've tried peanuts before, and I think peanuts are great, but you've got to have a separate combine. It's a complete separate uh, way of, of farming. It's the same until it comes to harvest, and you can't take a, well, we take our, you know, one combine, I go over three or four, 5,000 acres, you know, a, a peanut combine would do 300. So, you know, that was that was fun, and, and, and I'm not sure that we're, through doing that or not, but when this yellow pea, when this letter come out on these yellow peas, we're always looking for something different to grow, to be more diversified, If, of course, if it'll make any money, and also a cover crop piece. So the, the letter said, if you're interested, please contact us. So I did that, I get represented for the company come down. Uh, we sat down and started talking about it. They, it, they basically take that yellow pea and, and use it as a protein isolate and are able to put that in different nutritional value foods. The guy came down, we started looking at it. There's different ways you can grow them. You can grow them all season long. Uh, but when he when he came up with the idea that, you know, well, you can plant them in November and harvest them in March, I'm like, well, that's a perfect cover crop. You know, it's it's good for the environment, you know, through the cover crop ways, through, through production of food, and also allows us to do more with less. So looking at it in a, in a nutshell, there was a lot of different advantages from it. Um, don't know a lot about it. It's a legume, so it's gonna, it's gonna raise a lot like soybeans, but yet it's gonna be in the winter. So, you know, there is some, uh, you know, some dangers there if we get a really late, the same with wheat. You know, if we get a really late freeze when the wheat's, you know, in its re reproductive stage or, or, you know, milk stage or whatever, uh, we're gonna have that same dangers with uh, with the peas, but we have that same danger in any crop we grow, actually. You know, we're always looking for the next step if there's something we can do different. Uh, I don't have anybody to go talk to in my area because this will be the first time it's ever been done. Uh, there is some close, you know, I think there's some across the river in Mississippi, there's some in Northeast Arkansas. Uh, so we're just gonna, we're gonna take 250 acres and and plant yellow peas and, and uh, see how it comes out. You know, worst thing, worst thing we can do is, the worst risk there is the cost of the seed. And if it fails, then, you know, basically we're gonna spend some type of money on a cover crop anyway. You know, might not be quite the cost of the pea seed, but, you know, the, the, the loss, the loss, the risk there for the reward is a lot more reward, seems like, than it is risk. So we, we're trying it.